Welcome back to Minecraft Stacks on Stacks, the challenge where I collect a double chest of every item in the game. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Last video was all about setting up, getting myself together before starting the first item. Now we get to see our first item, which won't be spun until in the middle of this video. Yeah, I know you already read the title, but it's still fun to have suspense. If you enjoy this video and would love to see more, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell. It'll help you have amazing videos on your notifications and help me with the algorithm. With all that out of the way, please enjoy Minecraft Stocks on Stacks. First thing I did on video 1 was make a little twisted vine farm. I always thought they were better than water when it comes to clutching. And now I'm mining, going right for diamonds again. I'm going to be exploring more of that big cave I found a bit ago. But first, I have to collect all these riches here. Found an amethyst geode in here, that's more amethyst for when I need it. Found myself in the mine shaft again, and a diamond for my troubles. Two actually. After organizing, I planted some melons and pumpkins, again for if I need it for my item. Planted beetroot too, whether I like it or not, they are needed. Here we are, we got the wheel, and let's spin it. Please be something good. Bert sign. That's right, our first item is the Bert sign. Glad that I grabbed that Bert's tree okay. now, huh? It's also easy. Signs only stack up to 16, so I only have to collect 864. That still may seem like a lot, but remember, I get those in three whenever I make them. I made a little area for the items. Probably will use it for my big museum thing. Marked off the first chest and put in my first two signs. Progress is already moving. These bird saplings grew up, perfect for what's about to become of this hill. And look at that, I already made a ton of them. Grabbed all the saplings I could get and planted them all on the hill behind my house. End of the video off by putting my progress in the birch chest. Just look at that, almost a sixth of the way through. Video 2 starts with a little exploring. Found a cave nearby my house. Then I got a couple of birch trees that grew up. Obviously immediately made them into signs. And put them right into the chest. I do love seeing that number go up. And now I'm grabbing some kelp. Gonna be making a kelp farm, even though I don't really need it right now. Had to go get redstone though, didn't have any in the house. Of course was getting wet at any moment I could. I mean look at that, I'll be done before I even know it. Had to grab some deer by sand too, this was when I was just learning redstone. Forgot quartz too, I'm making an auto farm, not a normal farm. Finished the video off by finally getting the mechanism to work. Video 3, I thought it would be cute to decorate a little. Finished the kelp farm, it's pretty neat going with the decor like that. Thought I thought it would be cool to open up the house a little. It's safe enough already. Oh yeah, so much water already. I'll be done in no time. Just look at that. Halfway there. I love it so much. I love seeing this chest fill up so much, even if it is easy. Just a few more left. I am so close. It's amazing. More and more birch. I'm really getting this done soon. And so short too. I guess I said it was going to be short. So, so, so much closer. I'm on the edge right now. And yes, it's done. Over with. I don't have to collect birch signs anymore. Like it was hard at all. Thank you so very much for watching. I know this one was a short one, but literally it was three videos. So womp womp. I did not spin the wheel this video. I forgot to, or I didn't want to because I don't know. I'm not this guy. It would mean a lot if you could like and subscribe. Click the bell too. It helps you find amazing content and helps me get myself on YouTube. Thank you very much, and until next time, goodbye.